Sometimes you can spend a little and actually get a lot for your money. When it comes to men's hair these days, there are billions of products out there, a huge variety of different types at different price points. Today's focus is actually gonna be on hair products that I haven't really talked about before on the channel, ones that are really cheap that actually I think perform really well and offer good value for money. None of these ones are sort of the best products, I don't think. If you spend a bit more like some of the other premium hair products I've talked about on the channel before, I think they're slightly better in terms of performance. But if you wanna try a new product, Product, then you can't go wrong with any of these and because they're so cheap you really haven't got an excuse for not trying them. Several of these are like high street brands but then I've also got some that will be available internationally so I'm going to link all of them in the description below so you can find one that you can have access to easily. First things first, um, in terms of pre-stylers for this video uh, I've got the Fudge Urban Inflatable Jelly. This is the first time I've ever really used a product that's been called a jelly before. The texture of this stuff is a bit like a cream gel, I'd say. On the front of the tube, this stuff says, uh, increases hair density by 100%. Now what this doesn't mean, I don't think, <laughs> is that it helps you to grow your hair back if you're balding. Really it means, in a sense of, hair volume increases, or at least your hair looks thicker. Now I disagree, I don't think it increases it by 100%, but it definitely works well enough for me to recommend it on this video. The reason I like this one is because it's an alternative type of pre-styler to lots of the other ones I've used before. Typically, your pre-stylers are gonna be either some form of spray or mousse, or some form of sticky wax-like product like the Blue Man Meraki, which sort of have the advantages and disadvantages. I like this one because it's really easy and quick to use. All you need to use is a tiny bit, rub it between the palms, and it applies to the hair really smoothly. There isn't the tug and pull like I get with a Meraki, for instance. There isn't very much mess, and then you just blow dry it, and then you're left with some good volume. If you're a guy with thin hair, then it works really well. Good job on this fudge. Next, I've got a bunch of different styling products here. In all truth, all these offer similar types of performance because generally I love products that offer a matte finish and relatively decent hold. So I've got four cheap budget choices for this. In terms of paste, I've got these two. Now this VO5 one, um, I kind of criticized VO5 a while back for having billions of products, none of which were particularly great. This one was seemingly the only one that I hadn't tried and I tried it and it turns out to be pretty good. It comes in a strange pump tube, a bit like uh, Colgate toothpaste does. Extremely easy application, goes into the hair nicely and you get the exact finish you're looking for. Hold again, pretty strong with this one, generally quite a good choice. And I know that VO5 is a lot more readily available in stores compared to some of the others on this video. So if you can't find the other options then this might be your only choice but it's still a good choice. Next we've got the Tony and Guy workable matte paste. Describes almost identical performance to the VO5 one. This one is slightly more expensive than the VO5 and I think it's probably fractionally better. This one is extremely creamy to use and I think the hold is a tiny bit better. It has a bit more tackiness to it and it depends what sort of hairstyles you want. If you want more disheveling, this is probably the go-to choice out of them two. Whereas if you want your hair up in one uniformed area, the VO5 from my experience works a bit better for that. But either way, you get a matte finish and you get pretty good hold. Tony and Guy products aren't that readily available. I know you can get them in boots in the UK. But once more, this works well for my hair, a good budget choice. The next one's a good choice if you haven't got access to the previous two, especially if you're buying online and you're abroad. And that is the Osmo Fiber Sculpt. The Osmo Grooming Company do a wide range of different products. In all truth, I've only ever tried this one. But it's that good that I'm recommending it in this video. This one has an unusual like yellowy color. Um, and again, an unusual but quite nice smell. This one is slightly more sticky than the previous two. And I'd also say that the hold once more is slightly better than them previous two as well. Probably the highest on this video. It's not quite as easy to apply as the previous two, but if you get it right, it offers probably slightly better performance. You're left with a really nice matte finish as well. Quite a versatile product, this one. Definitely for average to thin or fine hair rather than thick hair. The great thing with this one is it's super easily available online. It's really cheap, so it's well worth a try. You can get this on Amazon well under the 10 pound mark, so that's awesome. The next one is a clay choice, uh, which is technically a clay because of the ingredients, but 
It's still very creamy for a clay. This is the got to be uh, phenomenal texturizing clay. Now for shorter hairstyles, this stuff is gonna be absolutely fantastic. Definitely adds quite a lot of texture to the hair. And once more, the application's quite easy. It probably dries a bit fast if you've got longer hair. If you've got shorter hair, this probably won't be an issue but it offers good hold, a nice matte finish, and this also might be a better choice if you've got quite unruly hair. It's a little bit heavier than the previous products I've mentioned. I've been generally quite impressed with the Got To Be Phenomenal range because some of the other Got To Be Schwarzkopf hair products are terrible. This one surprised me, as has the final product on the list. This is also by Got To Be, uh, surprisingly, the Phenomenal finishing hairspray. You'll notice that the shape of the packaging is uh, remarkably similar to their super popular got to be glued hairspray. I know tons and tons of guys who use this stuff. I think it's okay, but often it leaves your hair feeling quite crispy. This stuff leaves your hair solidly in place, just like the got to be glued one, but it leaves a much more natural looking finish. It doesn't add the wet greasiness, and then you've got the, the great applicator with this one, provides a really accurate spray, which is Perfect if you want to just secure certain areas of the hair. Once more, super cheap. I'd say pretty good value for money. I feel good now. I feel like I've given um, some exposure to those hair products I continually cling on to and I'll use every couple of weeks, but I don't ever get to show them on the channel. Especially if you're a guy who is not going to spend £20 on a hair product no matter what, then you know some of these might be the better choices for you. And just make sure as well, with these, as with any hair products, make sure you're using them properly. Don't use the styling products like the clays and the pastes on wet hair, it just doesn't work. Use a pre-styler like the jelly stuff uh, with a hair dryer to blast the hair into position. Make sure it's on you know, low to medium heat so you don't cinder your hair. But then you can get your hair into the right sort of shape that you want and then you can just use the finishing products to sort of seal it in the right place. Because I've seen loads of guys giving negative reviews to products that I think are pretty good just because they haven't been using it properly. I want to know in the comment section below what's your favorite hair product that you're using at the moment. Ideally one under the £10 mark. If you want to discuss topics just like this, like different hair products, then why not consider joining the Everyman Facebook group? Hair products are quite a good topic because hair really impacts the way that you look. It's completely free. Click the link in the description to join. Uh, just make sure you answer the questions and then I'll let you in. And remember, you can find any of them products right down in the description. If you found this video useful, I'd love it if you'd like the video. If you want to see similar videos just like this on what to wear and how to style your hair, just like in this video, make sure you press the round subscribe icon just to this side here. And then I've got two more fun videos for you to watch right down there. And I'll see you in the next one of them.